Dan. I'm a senior tight end on the football team. I'm Sean. I'm a senior linebacker, defensive end on the, on the football team. And guys, uh, just going into your fourth season at Georgetown, just talk about the experience and how it's treated you so far. I mean, I couldn't ask for much more. I mean, as far as class-wise goes, we have one of the tightest net groups of people I've seen. Uh, coaches have been great. Weight room staff has been great. So, so far, so good. Finally, looking to get a ring this year. So, yeah, I'd definitely just like to echo that, you know, we really feel here in our fourth year that we have, you know, the strongest bond as a team and most team chemistry. And... Uh, Really excited for the season, really looking forward to it, and happy to get underway here. So. And you guys are both uh, part of a 24-person senior class, a lot of leadership in that group, um, and you've both been, been chosen as captains. Just talk about some of the specific ways that you've seen yourselves develop into the leadership roles uh, during the course of your career, and, and I guess who has kind of helped you get to that point. All right, so I mean, I guess I'll look at some of the tight ends before me. Uh, Tucker Stafford, Mike McIntyre really helped me along with my career, kind of showed me the right way to do things. Um, and that's just a real honor from our peers to be elected because uh, with each position there's good senior leadership so that makes our job a lot easier. And so basically I think kind of why I was elected, I think from my work ethic, put a lot of weight work at in, in the weight room and just kind of try and keep our vibes up. So that's what yeah. I got. Yeah, there's a pretty long line of uh, successful linebackers here. I mean, I know coming in freshman year, there was Nick Parrish, who I mean, I, I think he's probably the most prototypical captain I could ever uh, you know imagine great leader on and off the field, and then it just carried down the line. Um, Rob McCabe here and Jeremy Grasso as well. Definitely learned a lot from them, picked up a lot of good traits along the way. Um, yeah, I, I mean, myself, why, why I think I was elected, why I think I was selected by my peers, um, it's just I'm always out there working with them and, uh, you know, putting in my best on the field, putting in my best off the field, and uh, trying to be a, uh, as best a person as I can, so... And then, Sean, also just talking about being elected also the Joe Ekabachi number 35 Memorial Jersey recipient. Um, talk about the honor that goes with that and the people that have worn it before you. Yeah, so, I mean, that, that was a tremendous honor. I, I was sitting there at, at the banquet and, you know, listening to the speech and was just kind of in awe about all the stories and all the people that you hear about. Um, very successful people, both on the field and then later in life. And, you know, I was just listening, sitting there. Then when they called my name, I was almost in shock. You know, I was very surprised. So, in that sense, I, I'm so happy, and, and I'm happy to take on the responsibility that comes with that. Um, and I'm very, extremely honored that I was selected by my peers, coaches, and uh, you know, it was a very big honor for me, very prestigious, so I was very happy with that. And now, this past summer, you both had the opportunity to live down in Raleigh, North Carolina, and um, intern with PNC Bank. I just talk about for the two of you teammates, both captains here, how that opportunity came about, and um, how the trip to North Carolina was. Um, so yeah, we it came, basically came about through uh, the Career Center. Uh, they do a great job over there, uh, setting up on-campus interviews and everything. So we originally, uh, so we had a first round interview with uh, PNC on campus here. Uh, they invited us back for a second round interview in Pittsburgh. We had like a super day, a bunch of interviews. They uh, called us later that day, asked us if we wanted to move to North Carolina for the summer. Um, they offered us both together, kind of. So we thought that was a great idea, something new, something new to experience with a great company. So we uh, jumped on it. Definitely. Yeah, definitely got some great advice um, leading up to the on-campus interviews and then from the Super Day from some former teammates, especially Dan Semler. He, he definitely gave us some great advice with that and actually, you know, interviewed both of us, which is pretty pretty awesome. So that, that was good. And, uh, yeah, I mean, living down in Raleigh was actually awesome. You know, we had, we're only 10 minutes from downtown, um, had a great facility to work out in all summer, which was great, something that was definitely necessary as returning captains. So, um, yeah, it was a great experience overall. And then just from the summer experience, um, what did you take away from it professionally, uh, away from the football field, I guess, um, for anything that you would be hopefully doing postgraduate? Yeah, so I mean, we're both looking for jobs in the financial industry. And uh, going into the summer, I didn't have much of a resume. Uh, football camp counselor doesn't really work too well. Um, so it's really my first job experience in the office, and it's interesting to see kind of how people go about their day-to-day -day work. It's like completely different kind of from college. And just kind of how deals get done, and just kind of the lingo of the industry, and just kind of just meeting with a bunch of people who have done before and have been successful, and kind of asking them for advice and kind of picking their brain. Definitely, yeah, I think it was interesting to see how, you know, all those things you learn in the classroom, how they're actually applied in the real world, and, and how fast you have to move with, you know, the lingo, like you said, and pick up on, pick up on all those things. That, that was definitely pretty interesting, so. And then now, just after the summer experience, do you feel a little more comfortable going into uh, your senior year, um, job prospects, the experience that you've gained? Oh yeah, definitely. Because uh, like I said before, there's 
I didn't have much of a resume before the summer, so it's nice to have something official on there. And uh, so, I mean, we don't know. We'll hear back from PNC in a couple of weeks. They could offer, so that'd be great. And then, I mean, if not, we have a great internship on our resume that it's, I'm much more confident going forward with the job search. And now you guys are just, uh, oh, sorry. No. You guys are uh, two days into training camp. Um, just talk about what you've seen from the team so far, um, how people are developing, especially the younger guys. Yeah, so I mean, like I said previously, you know, a lot of team chemistry with this group, I definitely think so. One of our larger senior classes, I mean, I know since I've been here, it's the largest senior class. I don't know how many years going back it would be, but I know that we're all here, we're all on board, and that's definitely big, um, especially for the younger, younger guys on the team to see that they have, you know, a group of, a group of seniors that are dedicated and, and you know want to win games so that's definitely good the first two days have been great everybody's flying around everybody has a lot of energy excited to be out there which is cool to see because you know those first two days can be kind of like a drag you know transitioning into the football camp so it was good to see everyone bouncing around jumping around yelling having fun so yeah it's just been great I mean uh, a lot of high energy great senior leadership at each position I'm gonna go through and pick out someone that I've really been kind of showing the freshman the way the freshman I mean, I've been impressed with them so far, coming out early to practice, ready to work, ready to listen, ready to learn. So, so far, so good. Finally get some pads on today, so we'll see how that goes.